Hello everyone, and in today's video we're going to look at what is Minecraft NBT tag. Uh, now, NBT tag is something that holds data. Now, let me explain. Every singular block in Minecraft that you can interact with uh, by right-clicking it or by throwing items in it, such as hopper, or even a sign uh, that you can type something on, uh, has NBT tags. Unlike, for instance, stone. You can't interact with this anyway. Uh, it, it either exists or it doesn't exist. That every That's everything this block has as a function. Uh, now, the blocks that are a bit more complex, like this chest, for instance, have NBT data. Um, now, for instance, if I, if I put this sign into this chest, right, um, this chest needs to remember that it has a sign in it. And it does that by storing uh, it as NBT data. So in this case, it would do something like this, right? Uh, it, this is this is like there are many types of NBT data: items, text, invulnerable. Many, 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 many NBT tags, and one of them, uh, for instance, if I put uh, this here, so uh, on, in the first spot, it would like. This w it would have to do something like this. The chest would have to do something like this. Uh, and so uh, an NBT tag uh, can uh, store multiple uh, information at the same time. Um, so items, that is the name of NBT tag. And now it, uh, th this is the NBT tag itself, right? This is the data stored within the items NBT tag. Uh, so in our case, cyan ID1, which is the ID1 is the spot it is located in, and sign is the item. And uh, f for instance, if you look at the sign now, uh, this would be something like text NBT. It looks something like this. It's a, an NBT tag that is named text, and it holds the data NBT because that's what I wrote on the sign. I, I could wrote there a big dude and now uh, it would be this it would hold this data uh, text big dude you see um, now it doesn't only work for blocks that you can interact with it's also every singular entity for instance if you look at uh, this pig now this is the this <laughs> is the they the the NBT tag this pig has now you can see this is a huge chunk of information like name random spawn bonus you see invulnerable ob it, like this is what an NBT tag is and we can like read so many useful information out of this so <coughs> for instance health 10.0f which means uh, that it has five hearts because it's um 10 points of health, which is 10 divided by 2, which is the amount of hearts it has. So, out of this specific NBT tag, which is health, uh, among these many NBT tags, like uh, death time, left-handed, air, uh, many of the NBT tags, right? But the one we care about right now is health. So, it's, it's an NBT tag, and it holds the data 10.0f, which makes it 5 hearts. And in the future, we will be able to change this. So we, we can, like, make it have 30, uh, 30 hearts. So instead of 10F, it would have, um, like, 60F, because that's 30 hearts, right? Uh, so it would be like this. 60.0F. Uh, uh, we can change that, so uh, the pig will have more HP. Or we can read it. So, w in the future, we'll be d able to do if uh, health of pig is equal to 5.0f, then uh, kill pig. I know, for instance, okay, that it, it's just like, uh, oops, wait. This is like just an example, right? So, we'll, we'll of course, it's not going to look like this, but we're going to be able to do things like this. Uh, and, and it's gonna be very important. Um, so this is like a brief summary of what an NBT tag is. And in the next video, we're gonna look at some sub selectors. And in the next video after that, we are gonna look at some NBT tags.